Hello there, I'm Pigalius. Yes, I'm still alive, and I just paused the war on drugs uh, vinyl to be to be giving you this conversation. So you know it's a big deal because that new oh man, that new album is fucking tremendous, dude. It's such a good album. I'd recommend it to anyone, really, but uh, particularly particularly if you like uh, like Dylan and, and what have you and Hendrix, then uh, you'll definitely like the old st- old school throwback style that is the war on drugs. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm particularly excited today to be having this conversation with you. Firstly, because it's been the first time in like six months, but also um, because I am going to say something that I haven't you know, I haven't been able to say in about four years. I think it has been four years. Um, and I'm going to say this. I'm going to prep myself first. Just to think, like, there have been babies that were born the, the last time I said this, and now they're four years old. I'm about to say this right now. You're not, you're not going to believe this. I am excited for the new Call of Duty game. <laughs> Can you believe, can you believe I just said that? <laughs> I haven't been able to say that in so long, dude. Yep, it's true, and you can believe it. I'm actually looking forward to uh, Call of Duty World War Two, and um, I'm here to tell you why. So, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's such a huge deal. The last time I was able to say that was uh, with Call of Duty Ghost. So that kind of you know doesn't put it in a very good position. But I will tell you what, I, I feel like Call of Duty Ghost got a bad rap uh, personally because. I thought it was okay. Like, they didn't really do anything new or anything different to change up the formula. There was nothing exciting about it, but it just sort of continued Call of Duty along uh, not too badly. I didn't think there was too much wrong with it. Oh, I apologise that this is Infinite Warfare gameplay and not World War II. I was at my girlfriend's house over the weekend and I played it at hers. So, that, you know, it was on a tiny TV too. It could have even been better. And with lag, uh, the internet's not the best. But yeah, uh, (laughs) Call of Duty, World War II. Man, am I excited. I'm really looking forward to this game. I'll tell you why. I played the beta, and this time I actually pre-ordered the game in order to get the beta, because I have been looking forward to this one. Um, it's not perfect, but I will go through what I think of it. Uh, it's slower, which is amazing, because as you can see in this Infinite Warfare gameplay, there is no way to play slow. It's fast or nothing, and I hated that about this game. Man, Infinite Warfare sucked. Um, But yeah, no, it's slower, and my favourite thing, oh, oh, I like the new maps too, I think the new maps are great, Um, but my favourite new thing about it is that you can, once again, be fucking tactical. For four years, no, sorry, three years, we won a, suppressors meant nothing, you know, UAVs basically meant nothing, counter UAVs basically meant nothing, because it was just run into people and do, shoot, shoot them with guns and lots of lasers, but now, You know, I don't even know if this game's still in the MLG, but I'll tell you what, they could take it back to it if they wanted to, if they carry on the way that they are. Because it's nice and tactical, it will actually be fun to play with friends again. You'll be able to, like, squad up and play as a team. Now, I will say, I know why I like this game. I know that it is just because it's Call of Duty and it, it's World War, you know, it's back to boots on the ground and there's no jetpacks and silly bum bums like that. It is just... Shoot people, which is great, which is what I liked about Battlefield, except it's an arena shooter and good old Call of Duty, and that's great. I will say they could have done better with what with what they had. And you think about it, you know, Halo um, Remaster Collection, the first one, that came out 10 years after the original game and showed us what we could do in 10 years, and we could do so much. This doesn't do that. It's been it's been 10 years since uh, Modern Warfare 1, and you would not be able to tell. It, it, sometimes the graphics are even worse. The graphics are terrible. The gameplay is okay. Um, as in, like, it's they've got that goofy sprint animation back from uh, Modern Warfare 3 um, and stuff like that. But uh, you know, it's just it's just sort of typical Call of Duty in, in any sense like that. But um, it does feel slightly tackier than other Call of Duties, but it's stripped down and also that is another one of the problems is that I feel as though because they started refining it and stripping it down with Infinite Warfare I feel like maybe they've gone too far this time like I get that they've taken out perks and I'll have to live with that I'll have to live with that my sleight of hand but they might have gone a little bit too far um in the beta there's no camos uh of course there's no perks the attachments and stuff like that are really thin there are not enough guns i'll say that right now that is one big criticism if that those are all the guns we get in the game i'm really disappointed by that um and yeah everything just seems to be really stripped down a little bit too much i do like my camos i like emblems and putting emblems on guns and stuff like that and uh, i don't like the fact that that's taken away um but yeah, I would say that mostly the game reminds me uh, of sort of Modern Warfare 3 slash um, 
what do you call it? Uh, what do they call it? Ghost in its gameplay sense. It do- I did feel like I was playing sort of a combination of those two. Um, map design wise, I would say Modern Warfare 3, but more gameplay Ghost. But yeah, no, it's good and I'm really excited about it. Uh, maybe I'll talk about it more. Maybe I'll make more videos. Who knows? I might just wait six months again. <laughs> you never know with me. I'm so funny. It's just such a character. <laughs> uh. Good job.